Today I want to talk about a topic I've talked about various times before. Make sure to not talk about every single thing that comes up whenever it's mentioned, you know, because for a long time there was a lot of nothing, a lot of, oh, something's going on here, and then you look at various articles or whatever's being talked about, and not much really has changed, at least not enough to really warrant articles on websites or anything of that sort. Um, but this is a pretty uh, good, um, as of now, uh, being uh, January 4th, and this broke, um, of course, uh, in December 2021, um, the uh, lawsuit um, for Friday the 13th, particularly regarding this film, the original, regarding the copyright and such, uh, is oh, it's by Victor Miller now. That is really officially over. Because what could have happened next would have been the Supreme Court it could have gotten it, or at least it could have been submitted, and whether or not it would have been upheld or and looked at and all that, who, who knows. That would have taken a long time. Some people said, in a way, it was sort of a long shot, considering Sean Cunningham and Horror Inc. lost twice uh, uh, the case already. So then going to the Supreme Court would have been a big long shot, but considering how long this has been dragged out, many thought, you know what, maybe he, he actually would. You know, it seemed like he, you know, just was like, you know, why not? He wants to try and maintain the rights and uh, all that for this long. Why wouldn't he go another couple of years or so. Well, uh, an article I'm going to read from Bloody, Dis uh, <clears throat> Bloody Disgusting, uh, dot com uh, says, Breaking Friday the 13th case is allegedly officially over and Victor Miller once again owns his screenplay. This was published on uh, December 29th, 2021. Um, <clears throat> It has been a long road, but it appears we're heading to, uh, toward some sort of closure in regards to Friday the 13th uh, rights battle. The Friday the 13th star and entertainment lawyer Larry Zerner has been keeping fans updated on the progress of the messy legal case over the franchise's rights that pitted Sean Cunningham Horror Inc. against original screenwriter Victor Miller. According to Zerner, the case is officially over as Cunningham Cor Horror Inc. has failed to file a cert petition uh, by the 4 p.m. deadline. As of writing, Victor Miller is allegedly still the official rights holder to the Friday the 13th screenplay in the U.S. only. And here is his tweet. It is 4 p.m. I still don't see a cert petition filed with the Supreme Court in the Friday the 13th case. What does this mean? Well, it means the case is officially over and Victor Miller owns the rights to his screenplay in Friday the 13th, but in the U.S. only. Um, okay, so they don't even have the complete full conversation they just have the first one and then it's broken out into many things because he had a lot to say because it's very you know there's a lot to unpack with it and he wasn't able to do it within the how many characters you can write on Twitter um, um, so yeah okay so that was the first part. What does this mean? Or does this mean that the parties have settled or are close to settling and a new movie is forthcoming? Not necessarily. It could just mean that Sean Cunningham has realized that a cert petition is a real long shot and didn't want to waste his money. 
However, the fact he didn't uh, file a cert petition makes it very slightly more likely that the parties are working out a resolution. Uh, but I wouldn't hold my breath. Can Victor and Sean just make their own separate movies? Not really, because Victor own, only owns the U.S. rights and only to the first script. And Sean owns adult hockey mask wearing Jason, but can't legally use him in a movie without Victor's permission. It's complicated. Hopefully, we'll hear some good news in the future. In the meantime, this Friday is Sean's 80th birthday. So everyone please wish Sean a very happy birthday. No trolling. And we will see what 2022 brings. Happy New Year, everyone. So that was essentially all that he wrote and they didn't have like the second part for some reason. Um, so yeah, it says, what does this mean? <sighs> oh, the future of the Friday the 13th franchise in Jason Voorhees. It's complicated, but the two sides working on or having reached a resolution would be the best case scenario for horror fans. Yeah, and then if the two sides fail to reach any sort of agreement, so here's how the rights break down according to Zer, which is what I just read regarding they can't really make their own movies because Victor owns U.S. rights and then while he uh, Cunningham owns the, uh, you know, the uh, uh, adult Jason and hockey mask rights, uh, you know, without, you need uh, his, Victor Miller's permission to go ahead because of, you know, the name and everything, you know, I mean, you could have the hockey mask wheeling killer in a Friday the 13th movie, perhaps. But uh, if we're not going to call him Jason, that's going to be seen as a real disappointment. You know, that happened in Part 5, and people weren't too happy with that. Um, there are some people who like it, but there are many who think that's just... The, the execution of the whole thing was not very good. I am somebody of that opinion, too. I mean, there are some good ideas in that film, but for the most part, uh, for being a new beginning... You know, they had a lot of red herrings that just, they weren't executed the best. And so, yeah. Uh, to put it simply, uh, as our joke reads, my understanding is that Victor Miller could allow a studio to produce a Friday the 13th remake, but it could only be released in the United States. What's new to this writer is that Sean can't legally use Jason Voorhees in a movie without Victor's permission, and that is truly crippling. Here is to hoping that the two parties could come to some sort of agreement and move forward together. Otherwise, it's going to be an exceptionally hard to find a workaround to the real uh, legal ramifications. And if you'd like to learn more about the case, you can start here and get more, or get more recaps by clicking here we'll report on any updates as they come in below you can listen to Zuna break down the case himself in the past episode of our very own uh, uh, horror franchise podcast Halloweenies okay well and there you go that's the article and I'll leave it in the uh, description below I'll try to leave it on the comments uh, you know, it pinned but sometimes you kind of forget you know you might be able to remember like post that here or there or whatever but then accidentally forget to do so uh, later but yeah, the good news is no Supreme Court uh, 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 po potential of seeing this and they only take very few cases every year which is interesting think they would have more but they, the, the amount of numbers it, it varies year to year but the fact is they handle very few cases it could be anywhere from three to five um, but anyway that's good news in that you know 
nothing was filed to see it be go into the Supreme Court. Um, again, it would be a long shot, but you never know. Considering how long this has dragged out already, uh, without any sort of, you know, discussions and sort of agreement coming together or whatever would normally happen in a situation like this, the fact that it's uh, gone as far as it has is sort of unfortunate. You know, people who enjoy the Friday the 13th franchise would like to see or at least would have liked to have seen another film or two in the last decade. We didn't get a film in the last decade. There was nothing. Um, we got various releases, like box sets, such as the Shout Factory box set, which this you know, film uh, particular one is clearly from. Uh, you know, Screen Factory, I want to be more precise, so somebody in the comments doesn't try to correct me. But yeah, this is a, uh, you know, this this whole thing is uh, it's complicated. But I think, in many ways, it's probably the best case scenario fans of the franchise could hope for. This will at least make the two parties have to come together and discuss things. Of course, legal or like lawyers and stuff will be present, whether that be in person or whatever uh, they'll be doing um, I mean uh, these days who knows depending on the states each lives in uh, they might be able to meet in person and so I think that would probably be the best thing they could do so all parties involved can just be there together in a room somewhere discuss things so that a new movie can be made and everyone's happy. It can be released, you know, not just in America, but around the world, because there are many fans of this franchise worldwide, not just in America. Um, though I guess you could say perhaps it, it's the most popular in America compared to, like, other uh, countries, but, you know, that's sometimes bound to happen. Uh, you know, when a franchise is made or created for in a very specific country, it makes a little more sense that in that country it's going to be very popular. Uh, or at least the most popular. Um, but I hope, I hope that uh, this whole thing is, um, you know, settled and gets, you know, uh, taken care of. Uh, as quickly as possible. It's unfortunate this has gone on for as long as it has, but with stuff like this, when it does get into the uh, legal stuff, and to where, you know, lawsuits <clears throat> happen, um, yeah, this is, uh, this happens, uh, unfortunately. Um, but it is good news of sorts um, here's just uh, hoping they'll be able to talk and have some agreement where everybody will be happy you know as unlikely as that might seem to be the case um, let's hope that it does happen uh, for those of us who enjoy this franchise um, yeah I just uh, hope for the best, hope they can all just uh, come to an agreement and then uh, a new movie at least can be uh, getting to development to the point where people involved are happy and not just, well, we began to write uh, this script, people like it, everyone seems to enjoy this and then all of a sudden... Um, It's so close to actually filming to the point of we're casting and then nope nope we're uh, not doing that film after all which is what sort of happened prior you know they're supposed to have a another reboot uh, which would have been the 13th film and then that never happened unfortunately um, hopefully something happens in the uh, near future uh, where things get resolved um, 
know what the near future means. I don't know. Hopefully within this year, at least. Let's just say that, that best case scenario. Sometime this year, all this is resolved and everybody is happy. Deal is made and then a new film can be begun to get written and then see what happens there. Um, yeah, That's what I would like to see happen, but again, who knows. Um, yeah, that's all I really have for you now. Um, I hope all of you are doing well. Hope you're all having a great day. Hope you'll have a great weekend and your week has been great. Hope you'll have a great week next week. And also, I hope you are having a, a really good new year. Um, so far, the new year has been very good for me. Um, and I hope it's going well for you and I hope it will just get better. Uh, see you all next time. And take care.